Hi there, welcome back to a new video. I'm going to start by apologising. I've got a digger working outside and it's constantly beeping. Um, good news is the building is all the development is all nearly finished now so hopefully we won't have all the distractions soon. Anyway, new day, new page. I am working in my um, newest Disney um, road trip journal and we're going to be creating a fun pocket page today i'm going to be using some new bits and pieces from my new kit as well so i'll be sharing that with you i've just taken an old comic page i would like to use this piece here but i want that piece visible i really like that so what i'm going to do is I am thinking along the lines of popping this on here. This is one of the papers from my kit this month. So let's cut this or fold this over like that. I'm going to be sticking this in place. I like the idea of being able to see it both sides. And I am thinking of adding this like that so that then we've got a little pocket but it looks cute both sides so that's what we're going to be doing today a really really easy pocket um, so let's start by just popping some tape I want to make sure that will go all along and then I'm just going to trim it down afterwards it feels so chilly today it really does we're having such a wet week in the UK it's just horrible although one minute it's really sunny and then it rains again um, yeah it's not not a good week so let's pop that on there and then I haven't done that too well oh Oh, that was lucky. It wasn't down quite far enough. Let's try that again. And then that will... No, still haven't done that. That's how I want it like that. That's better. Excellent. So that's fine, that side. Let's trim this off so it's nice and tidy this side like that that's better and then we've got our little pocket there and i am just going to tear this along like that and i will be keeping this little bit here because um i did actually a page last week doing a heart um background and having little bits like that is really really handy i think i might just use a paper punch i get asked so often what are the punches that i use they are called ek success and if you google them you can still find them all over the place they don't just do border punches they do regular punches they do all kinds of punches corner punches um they're really really fun and keep an eye out because you can often pick them up really reasonably priced i've managed to find so many on eBay for example um, they are quite handy to find online and there's so so many different ones but, um, I've been collecting them for years but um, the border punches are my absolute favorite and the nice thing is they ooh, <laughs> click close so oh, that one's not doing that now some of mine are so, so old. No, that's not going to play game. But they used to <laughs> click close. And the idea is you can stack them. But like I said, I've had mine for absolutely years. And many of which are secondhand as well. So, right. I'm going to... As we're turning this into a little pocket, we're just going to pop some tape onto the side. And we have got a super quick 
little pocket page there that came together really quickly didn't it so i want to do a page today about when i met a friend from our lovely community in magic kingdom there we go i'm going to trim this up again i always say the best friends are those that you meet through disney at a crafters <laughs> for me anyway uh, it's just so fun having two of your favourite things that you can talk about there. That looks cute, doesn't it? I like that. I'm just going to grab my glue stick. So, yeah, if you've got a friend that loves Disney and crafting as much as you do, that's a recipe for friends for life, I think. Look how cute. There. There. I didn't want to cover that bit up. What a cute little pocket page and how quick and easy did that come together. Really, really love that. I might actually trim that down just slightly. And then we can pop that on there. I wanna just make sure it doesn't stick out too far. I like that, that is cute and I might just do it the same just slightly on this page there we go I'm going to I was going to use PVA glue but I do want to make sure that it does stick down properly so I'm just going to add some tape and then we're going to stick that in and our pocket page is already made and ready to piece together. I'm just gonna clear the rubbish on my desk. There, pop that on there. And then we've got the magazine on the other side as well, or the book I should say. Isn't that cute? I'm really, really pleased with that. Super cute. I've gone away from what I had originally planned. Um, I am also working on a, it's really sunny now, isn't that weird? Um, I am also working on a sketch at the moment as well. So I'll pop a little sketch, it's um, our April sketch. So I'll pop that up in the corner. I want to do a great big heart on here. So I'm going to do that next. What I do when I have a sketch, I write it out in basic form. So if you have a look at the sketch, I don't know if you can see that very well, and then you have a look, I've got my note paper, I've got my three photos, that little bit was supposed to be the title, and then my journaling down the side. I break it down, have it in front of me, um, and it just feels a lot easier to work with. Um, we've got some really nice sketch paper, water, um, I don't know if it is watercolor paper actually, sketch paper anyway. Um, and I would like to do a heart, a very, very rough heart. And that's definitely not watercolour. This is so much fun. I'm going to add some more colour to this. And then while I'm working on the rest of the page, this can be drying and I am going to be adding my photos to this page and my journaling on the back. I didn't want it to be perfect, I wanted it to be quite rustic looking. Oh, I like that with the darker outside. That is so much fun. Cool. And I am going to pop that to one side to dry. And then the idea is that this will sit in there and pull out. So that would be a really, really cute little pocket page. We have got the return of the really cute um, cloud paper this month. We haven't had the cloud paper for quite some time I love clouds so much I really do now this particular friend Jo she has a very colorful energy she is so much fun um, I love being around her she always makes me smile she just oozes fun so um, when I thought about making a page about her it had to be bright and colorful 
So it was the first time that we met and we met in Magic Kingdom. Just a quick hello. I wish we could have had longer or managed to meet up again. It's always like that I find with Disney trips that you you always feel that you're going to have so much time and then you go there and the time just runs away from you. But, um, I've learned over the years there with meeting up with people that you just have to be grateful for any time that you can get that coincides. So I'm thinking about having a cluster up there and as much as I love Bambi and I want to keep this page I would still like a little cluster here so I'm thinking about adding something on the side I really like that actually so let's add this here just to bring the two pages together I think that will be really cute as cute as that butterfly is but um, yep, yeah, sorry butterfly, you're being covered up. Um, so this month's kit is called Rebel Crafter. And um, I am going to use some of the bits here from this to-do list from the kit. And that is because I talk about this a lot in our Zoom sessions about being rebels, not sticking to rules. And then one of our members, Cheryl, we always have a topic or we say, right, we're gonna work on this today. It's obviously not set in stone and anyone can work on whatever they want during the Zoom. And Cheryl will generally do something completely different, whether she's making paper from onions or <laughs> ink from parsnips I don't know she's always doing something different and she's so ex so interesting and inspiring and I love the fact that she always rebels against the craft so um but yeah no I'm all for rebelling and just doing things just slightly different I think it's really fun um you don't want to be the same as everybody else do you um let's pop that at the top um Something I love doing actually is having a to-do list and breaking it down and just taking the bits from it that I want. I think that's really fun. So yeah, and I'm all about rebelling. You know, does it matter if anything's wonky? No. Does it matter if it's not in exact date order? No. No one's gonna die. Um, it's just not the end of the world, is it? Let's pop that up there. So um, yeah, I'm all for not keeping to rules and just embracing the facts of reminding ourselves why we're here what we're doing we're here to have a lovely time it doesn't matter if a title is slightly wonky it's not the end of the world so yeah I like to um oh, I quite like this I like to um be realistic and um have a good time does it matter if colors clash no it doesn't and in fact I think Colours look amazing when they clash. I remember when I was younger, you would have never have put pink and red together. You'd have never put pink and orange together. Oh, I like that. But now you do. Um, yeah, I don't think we sort of stick to rules like we used to. I always remember my mum saying, what was it? Pink and green, Should, was it, or is it orange and green? I don't know. Should never be seen. <laughs> it was one of those anyway. Um, yeah, so no, I'm all about having fun. There we go, I like that. Let's add another one of those so that sticks down. That is fun. We're gonna add another cloud at the top here. So I think that one might even add a couple actually. Let's add this one here. I love these cloud papers. Um, we've got a Zoom this afternoon um i always look forward to these it's one that i'm doing for our patreon community and that reminds me we've got a disney craftenoon coming up in may may the 11th so if that interests you as well every single member of my patreon community is welcome um it starts at just 199 for the month plus your local taxes and um everyone's welcome to join in we have a couple of these regular crafty zooms each month 
and then every now and then I do a special one and um, these Disney ones have become really popular you don't have to create Disney if you're not into Disney that's fine you can still join in but obviously most of the chatter is going to be about Disney so if that interests you um, come and join us there we go I like that this is looking so cute so I think I'm going to add Oh, do I do the to-do or do I do the today's goals? Let's just pop this on here. I just love adding a to-do list. It's such... Yeah, let's do that one. It's just such a fun way to get some journaling spots. It's just a little bit different. There we go. I'm going to add a couple of the arrow die cuts as well. There, and this is just kind of like bringing the merging the two pages together. Right, my battery's about to die here. I'm going to finish up here and we're going to move downstairs and I'll continue whilst I'm on my Zoom. So I'm all set up now and <laughs> I'm just going to carry on working. So um, I've got this piece that I, where I, you know, where I painted the heart. And so I thought I would create this as a little pulley out bit to go inside the pocket. What do you call that piece that you, you know when you create something and it goes inside a pocket, it's not really called a pulley out piece, is it? Does it have a name? I don't know, let me know. Um, so yeah, I've decided to use the little to-do list, cut up those bits and pieces, kind of being inspired by the, um, sketch as I said so I thought this would be really sweet rather than having the photos I'll just have the one photo but have the to-do list then instead and then I wanted just to document and talk about how I met Joe, and I thought that would be really nice I wanted to particularly remember this little meet um, from our trip the to-do list has well and truly been cut up as you can see I've got the don't forget the today's goals I've got the to-do list it's also got the date at the very top um, the other thing is like things like the shopping list I'm not actually going to use that as a shopping list but it's a really good little list I like things like this to break up my journaling sometimes journaling can feel quite overwhelming and I know I've spoken about this quite a lot but it's a topic that comes up over and over again um, I guess journaling, the topic of journaling is going to come up a lot when you talk about journaling, isn't it? Um, but yeah, and I know it can be really overwhelming when you've got like a story to tell. How do you tell it? Where do you start? So I always say my biggest tip is to break things up. So by having lots of little journaling spots over a page, a couple of sentences or even some bullet points here and there, it just makes journaling a lot easier. So if you are struggling, 100% give that a go. It does make life easier. So here we go. I've used two of those. I'm using that on this card, it slides nicely in. I'm really loving this little pocket. It's really sweet. Paper clips, I quite often pop those in my kits. They're just really handy. I use them as embellishments. I like buying them in different colors. I think they're fun. They add a pop of color. They're easy and very reasonably priced. Going to attach a piece of the lace from the kit here. You know how much I love a staple. So I'm just gonna really easily staple this to the top. Um, most bits and pieces here, apart from the comics, are actually from this month's kit, actually. So um, I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, I did do an unboxing of it the other day as well. Got some stickers and I'm just having some fun with this page. I do love my Disney pages. They're just full of color, full of happiness. I just have so much fun and I love the fact that anything suits this kind of thing. You know, whether you're going retro with the old style, vintage, or the new stuff, it all just goes so, so well together. So for me, this is just such a happy mix. I think it's my favorite way to journal these days, actually. Made a little bow there with the string from the kit, the little pink string, the thread, floss, whatever you want to call it. And um, I like to stick those on place so that the actual bow stays in shape, otherwise it can just flop a little bit. So I add a little bit of PVA glue, uh, form the bow into a shape, and then that will stay in place there. Some, some of these stickers from this month's kit, they're like watercolors, um, so they're really fun to add. And this month's kit as well is all about breaking crafty rules, so we're going full on color clash here. Um, 
I spoke about that in the previous video as well. All the colours that you were told when you were young didn't go together. Reds, pinks, yellows, orange. It's all going together this month. We're breaking every single creative rule. I like a colour clash. Do you? Let me know if you do. Um, yeah, I think that looks really, really fun. And like I said before, my friend Jo is fun and vibrant. Um, she deserves a colourful page because she's a colourful and fun person. So... It just had to be fun with Joe. So yeah, I'm just layering up all the bits and pieces now. Got some die cuts from the kit. And as you can see, this page is coming together very, very easily. And it's very fun. So I'm here the following day to finish off this video. It's very blowy outside. I apologize on the sun. I'm trying to block out the sun, but I'm struggling a bit. Um, I've done all my journaling. I've decided to add, I wanted to pop something on here might actually do something to cover up this because I just feel it's very very busy um, let's have a look different idea instead right what I'm going to do I have got this I think this vellum is from my friend Jackie and I'm actually gonna pop this over here so it will flip up but it just makes the page seem just slightly less busy so I am just going to add a little bit of sticky along the top here just so it sticks on there pop that in there and it just feels a little less busy but um, I also wanted as well to add some yellow alphabet stickers at the top and do the word friend. I thought that would be, this sun is so bright today. Um, I thought that would be a nice addition to the page and it ties in that having the yellow as well. There we go, and I've got my yellow stickers at the top. This slides in and my page is done. There we go. So we've got friend. I am in love with this little pocket. It's so much fun. I'm so pleased with how this page has turned out. Documenting about my friend Jo. Let's put Jo there. A really fun way to use up um, to-do lists as well. Just cutting it all up and using it in little segments to help with journaling. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed that today. I've had so much fun. I hope you have too. And, oh, I can have the date up there. I've just realised. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this. I want to make a little pocket pitch too. Take care. Bye.